Expro is the leading provider of in-riser subsea safety systems for completion and intervention operations. Expro offers subsea landing string technologies to assist in conventional subsea Christmas tree completions. Before completing a well with a conventional subsea Christmas tree, a drilling rig is placed over well centre and drilling operations are conducted. The subsea blowout preventer, or BOP, is deployed from the rig with a marine riser. This provides a conduit between the BOP on the seabed and the rig at surface. The marine riser also provides the conduit for any intervention into the well during drilling and completion operations. The BOP is lowered until it is just above the wellhead. All of the subsea infrastructure will be inspected by a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, which is controlled from the rig and gives real-time images from its cameras to the operators on board the rig. The BOP is then landed on the wellhead, utilising the support from the ROV operator, and is locked into place hydraulically via a control umbilical from the rig. The connection between the BOP and the wellhead is then pressure tested to confirm integrity. After the BOP has been deployed, all drilling operations will be carried out before the completion is installed. With drilling operations completed, the completion is then installed using the Expro Landing String Assembly, or ELSA. This monobore Expro system comes complete with a specially designed lower adapter to provide annulus access to the dual bore tubing hanger. This ELSA system also incorporates an orientation helix which aligns the dual bore tubing hanger to the correct orientation with the use of a BOP alignment pin. Once the alignment sequence is complete, the tubing hanger is then landed and locked into the wellhead with the application of hydraulic pressure. This hydraulic pressure is applied from the surface via the landing string control umbilical. The BOP has several sets of sealing rams internally. A single set of these are closed around the expro integral slick joint to allow an annular seal to be formed. The ELSA assembly will also be configured within the BOP stack so that the BOP shear rams can be closed above the subsea test tree in an emergency situation. The subsea test tree comprises two independently controlled fail-safe ball valves and an emergency disconnect system. Also within the Expro landing string, you will find a retainer valve and lubricator valves. Like all other landing string valves, the subsea test tree is controlled hydraulically from a control module on the rig via the landing string umbilical. The hydrocarbons from the well will flow up through the Expro landing string and back to the well test package on the drilling rig. The subsea test tree can be closed to isolate the well at seabed level, providing a gas tight seal and containing the hydrocarbons below the closed valves. With the subsea test tree closed and the well isolated, the emergency disconnect latch can be disengaged to allow the landing string above the subsea test tree to be retrieved. The retainer valve is closed to retain the hydrocarbon column above the valve and also vent any trapped pressure between the subsea test tree and retainer valve. The subsea test tree would then unlatch and be lifted clear of the subsea test tree valve section. This can be to allow the passing of bad weather or to disconnect from the well in an emergency situation. After the emergency conditions have been controlled, the subsea test tree latch section can be reconnected to the valve section and the retainer valve reopened. The interface between the latch and valve sections of the subsea test tree can be pressure tested against the upper subsea test tree ball valve to prove sealing integrity before the ball valves on the subsea test tree are both reopened.
depending on the customer's requirements, the well is now suspended with either a wire line conveyed tubing hanger crown plug, hydraulic operated ball valve, or a sliding sleeve arrangement. Now that the well has been suspended, the BOP pipe rams are opened from around the integral slick joint. The tubing hanger running tool is then unlatched from the tubing hanger and the full landing string is retrieved to surface. The BOP connector is then unlocked from the well head. Once unlocked, the BOP and marine riser are all retrieved to surface. With the BOP recovered to surface, the conventional subsea Christmas tree is prepared and ready for deployment. This can be deployed from the rig or an alternative vessel. The conventional subsea Christmas tree will be lowered until it is just above the wellhead. This operation is very similar to that of landing the BOP on the wellhead, in that the ROV operator will provide support and guidance while the BOP is landed out. When the conventional subsea Christmas tree is landed, it is hydraulically locked to the wellhead and the connection pressure tested to confirm pressure integrity. The tree running tool is then retrieved to surface. The conventional subsea Christmas tree is now in position with a fully functional completion installed. The conventional subsea Christmas tree will be connected to a production manifold, allowing hydrocarbons from the well to be delivered to a production facility.